there's nothing I like talking about more on my channel. I This is just a personal thing than the Legend of Zelda franchise. I'm going to be completely honest. It is one of, if not my favorite franchise in the entire world. And it has some of my favorite games ever. Whether we're talking about Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild or Majora's Mask and Wind Waker or even Zelda to the Adventure of Link. I love the Zelda franchise and today we have a fresh rumor for you coming from a person that I would put on the reliable scale for rumors but they're not going to be added to my scale officially simply because we're actually talking about Lego now look we already know a Deku Tree Lego set exists and I can tell you why we know because we talked about it last year the entire set actually leaked online we had images and everything of which I can't show you why? Because the Lego company copyrighted my video with it. So we already know that this is a thing that exists, and we just didn't know when it was going to come out, but it sounds like it's actually arriving this year and could be announced fairly soon. Now, the question, of course, surrounding all of this is, will they be pairing the Lego set with a video game. So first we're going to dive into the news and then we're going to get into some speculation because there does tend to be a correlation with Lego set releases and video games. Now I felt like a great way to get this news is to go directly to the source of a known Lego set leaker. This Lego set leaker is known as 1414 Falcon Fan. Uh, over here on Instagram. And here's what he put out there, that it, the set number would be 77092, and it says Lego Legend of Zelda 2024, The Great Deku Tree 2500, and the potential release seems to be 2024. And he claims that this all comes from Brick Merge. I can't seem to find an earlier source other than this online. Brick Merge could just be behind the scenes, but these are known Lego set leakers. They are very popular, and when they put stuff out there, it generally happens now of course we already know as i mentioned earlier the great deku tree set does factually exist i was copyright striked over it like literally they gave a strike to my channel the first strike on my channel in seven years so it's a big serious thing and lego does not like you talking directly about their sets or showing their sets so we got to be a bit careful about going into some of the details we learned from the leak i'll give you one the great deku tree could be two different versions one of those versions is the version you see in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. That shouldn't be shocking. But it's the other version that's going to get us talking. And that version seems to be the version from Ocarina of Time. Now, it's possible the set has been redone a bit to maybe be able to create the Wind Waker version as well. But from what we know from what leaked last year, it was a multi-version Deku Tree. It could either be the Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom or Ocarina of Time. Now, with September being the supposed release date, the thing is it'll probably be announced pretty soon. They do like to announce their Lego sets ahead of time so people can get their pre-orders in. And this is definitely a Lego set I'm going to be looking into getting my hands on to. But here is the deal. Setting aside my personal wants and desires and us building this great Deku Tree in a live stream, we have to also start to speculate a little bit because, look, for a long time, we've been talking about the idea that there could be an Ocarina of Time remake in the works. Now, we have no idea what studio would be making it. There technically is a rumor out there for it. I'm, I'm, I'm using that term loosely because it came from Zippo last year, so I don't really want to put a ton of stock into it. But what I will say is this idea that it is time to bring Ocarina of Time back isn't new right they've already brought back all their 3d zelda games including ocarina of time and majora's mask with the 3ds versions and now that we've got everything through skyward sword hd it's maybe time to go back and revisit games that haven't been brought into hd yet and that would include games like ocarina of time and majora's mask so it is entirely possible the great deku tree could be time to release if not when in ocarina of time HD and or remake or remaster gets released, it could at least be coming out around the time that an Ocarina of Time HD remaster remake or whatever could actually be announced. Remember, September is a normal time for a Nintendo Direct. They essentially do them every February, June, and September, and they pretty much never miss September outside of 2020, and even then, they still did news events in September, so 
They still treat September as a major time to make announcements. And again, they could be announcing a 2025 Ocarina of Time remake, remaster, etc. this September. Now, again, this is just speculation. This is just connecting the dots. We already know this Lego set exists. So you, th know that you throw in the fact we know that this exists. They just did Animal Crossing. Then you toss out the fact that, hey, you know, despite the Animal Crossing and Mario stuff, now we're getting rumors from, you know, Lego Brick Insiders. I guess that's a thing uh, that this is coming this September. It makes sense to me that they would pair the launch of this with an announcement, maybe even a release. I do think it's a little early to release an Ocarina of Time remake this year. But then again, is it? If there's an Ocarina of Time remake, like, coming, it's, who knows how long it's been in the works, right? It could have been in the works for years, even before Skyward Sword HD came out. So we'll just have to, you know, sit back and see what happens. You know, we all have our hopes and our dreams, and I'm probably doing a little hoping and dreaming here. You know, we like to be dreamers here at Nintendo Prime. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. I just want the Lego brick thing to happen. I, I'm really excited for Zelda Lego sets. I've been wanting these ever since I was a kid. Obviously, if you think we're getting the Great Deku Tree, you got to figure we're going to get other types of Lego sets. Uh, and who knows? Maybe they decide to bring Korok. So I would like a, a Korok Lego set. I would like, obviously, Link and Zelda and, and, and I don't know, Lon Lon Ranch or something. Or, you know what would be really cool? What about a Temple of Time Lego set? Now, that would be sick. I mean, Hyrule Castle is what come on. I love my castle Lego sets. And if you're going to tell me a Hyrule Castle Lego set might exist. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Obviously, you see I'm wearing my Jordan Love jersey because, guys, it's Go Pack Go Day. Good luck, Packers. Don't know if you could beat the 49ers, but I believe in you, love. All you need is love. Love.